What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the Rat's Den. And today we're going to have another Mortal Kombat 1 video specifically for PC users out there and to talk about the 60 FPS patch that you can apply to um, your Steam installation. I just kind of wanted to show you first and foremost um, how to install the mod for PC and then also you know how you can customize it in terms of affecting only invasions and so forth. But uh, with that said, let's just get right to it. So in the link below in the description of this video, you can find this link. It should directly guide you to uh, this GitHub page. What you're going to want to do is uh, you could read through it if you want to, uh, but go ahead and go down to the releases page here. You're going to want to click and download this file, and then you'll have something that looks like this right here, a zip file that contains two files itself. So the way that I like to kind of go about installing it is what you can do is quickly go to your Steam library. You can navigate to Mortal Kombat itself, right click, and then go to Manage Browse Local File. And what that'll do is it'll bring up your Mortal Kombat folder, and then you're going to want to navigate to MK12 Binaries, Win64, and this is the folder that you'll be placing those two files into that particular directory. Uh, one thing to note, if you only want this to affect um, invasions, then what you want to do is go into the INI file, the initiation file, and make sure that you set right here invasions only to true. That should be able to show 60 frames only specifically for invasions. So what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, test it out and give you an example. Okay, so as you can see, right now in the top left corner, the current FPS does say 30. And this is the way that I've configured it so far. All the animations and stuff should work accordingly. And you could go in to customize your fighter and all that stuff. And it should still only remain to be in 30 frames per second. When you enable invasions only to be true, you won't see all the artifacting that does start to happen uh, whenever you switch characters. You'll be able to see all of the interactions between them on the, at the versus screen. And also, again, the artifacts that show in their intro dialogues won't happen, but I'll get into that much later. Uh, but first, I just wanted to go ahead and show you to see whether or not Invasions Only truly works. So let's visit Invasions. So interesting enough, I was uh, checking the menus and it turns out that that Invasion set to true or false is actually not working because when I went into Invasions, uh, the screen didn't show 60 frames per second. So what I've done now is I've Turn it back to false, and now it just seems like the overall mod is actually working. Yeah, it's kind of interesting how that's not working. Maybe Ermac or can fix it out there. Um, but for now, you know, 60 FPS mod is working. So I just wanted to go ahead and just demo some of the things that you might see as far as artifacting. Say, for instance, the customized screen. So at first glance, you're looking at Scorpion, and he looks fine, right? And I really do enjoy the the 60 frames per second menu. In fact, I enjoy 60 frames on all of, across the whole game. But it just sucks because, like, if you go into, let's say, for instance, see, maybe Natara is a good. Yeah, you can see it right here. Natara uh, looks pretty crazy. I think Kenshi might be affected. Yep, you can see that there. But you can see the fluidity. The fluidity is a lot better uh, in terms of this. You can see here Reptile, you know, Reptile looks pretty weird as well. I think Sindel is one of the harder examples. Yeah, you can see that. So that's a lot, that's some of the issues that you're facing in terms of the meshes and the artifacts that are happening when you use the 60 frames per second mod. Um, but yeah, I wanted to give you a demo at least of invasions to show that in 60 frames. But going into the world itself now, there we go. So now we're in the world, and it is actually has 60 frames. And it is highly enjoyable using this mode here. Um, just looks more fluid, you know. It looks like, like it was designed to play this way, you know what I mean? And I don't know why it wasn't enabled for, from the get-go by uh, Nether Realms, But it just looks, you know, a lot better uh, in my mind. And I really don't see a lot of issues with it being enabled in the first place. Um, but yeah, that's Invasions mode right there. Aside from that, if we go and um, I'll show you kind of a versus screen interaction that does happen. See, even right here, you can see the 
It's very fluid. I mean, I'm, maybe I'm not the highest frame rate, but you can see the fluidity is above 30 frames per second. Whereas if you're not using this mod, um, it does go straight to 30. It looks really good here uh, with this mod applied. The, the motion is very fluid. Um, I like the graphical design of this, but again, we are all running into the same issues with like Kenshi having his face all weird like that. Natara is the same way, I believe, or Sindel here. Faces slept on like that. I think Johnny Cage is the same way. There he goes. <laughs> so something like a, an interaction. Let me see who I know. Uh, like Ashura. Her interaction along with uh, Tanya. Let's try Tanya. When they clash, you see that when they talk to each other, their lips won't move here. Shang Tsung's laboratory. You find comfort. See, Ashura's talking right now. Not just comfort. And so is Tanya now. Purpose. Their lips don't move. But these interactions here are above 30 frames per second, and I just find them highly enjoyable to see them in the speed. And I feel like it's I feel like it's more of a seamless trans transition between what we have uh, stock and what is um, what is actually being displayed. So, to me, I, I, I don't know what's going on with this. Um, I feel like it should have been something that was part of the initial upload to at least PC users. Probably much of that is attributed to the fact that PC users are going to have such a high variability of configurations that are out there. Meaning, uh, if you go online and if you try to kind of face someone with another setup, their system might not be as good as, you know, mine or yours or whatever. You know, their top-end graphics card, lower-end graphics card might not be the same. And that's probably why they start at a base level. That's just a theory. And maybe the reason why I'm suggesting this is because I've noticed whenever I try to pair uh, on the online mode, with this mod on, I just noticed some odd behavior of wait times when we're trying to get into the character versus selection screen. And then I've also noticed this same odd behavior when you're trying to load into the actual match itself. I've since turned off the patch and I noticed a lot of that issue has gone away. I don't know what's affecting it, but I've decided to turn off the mod altogether because I feel like I'm, being, I'm paired at least better in terms of online matches so it's a it's a cool modification to to have and for the most part it doesn't affect the combat online all in all i'm, I'm kind of hoping that nether realm will address this um, i'm hoping that we have a chance to to just enjoy 60 frames per second because look at look at ashra i mean and the animations it just looks very much it looks concise to the game, to the overall kind of aesthetic of what we're seeing in combat, and I, I like that seamless transition between, uh, between menus to the invasions, to the versus screen, and then into combat. It just seems like one complete seamless experience. And right now, the way it's set up with 30 frames, it just feels a little, a little bit off. Yeah, but I've again, I've decided to turn it off, and because uh, that helps. For some odd reason, maybe it's a placebo effect, but I think it helps to keep this um, at a base stock configuration at 30 frames within the menus because I believe it helps with uh, online matching and matches and stuff like that. Yeah, but that's pretty much it for this video. I hope that you found it useful if you're interested in using the 60 frames per second mod on Mortal Kombat for PC. Uh, you can use the link below and download it and try to install it yourself. It's really not that hard. I've kind of went through exactly the procedure that you need to go through it. Uh, so enjoy as much as possible. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.